Hi, this is Bill Johnston with Kansas Corn. Do you know what an aquifer is? Well, an aquifer is an underground body of rock or sediment that stores a, stores a large amount of water. An aquifer is an underground lake. And, you know, when I hear that, I picture a lake, you know, a lot like the one right behind me, an open lake underground. Well, that's not really quite what an aquifer is. See, an aquifer has lots and lots of rocks where the water is stored between those rocks. Well, let's compare it to like a bowl of cereal. You know, when you fill the bowl up with the cereal, there's still room for milk in that bowl. I've actually put together a little model that might help you out. In this model, the grass and soil represent the crust of the earth. And below that, several feet down, are these large rocks or possibly other types of sediments that have the water stored between them. You know, aquifers are all over the United States. In Kansas, we have the Ogallala Aquifer. Some people call it the High Plains Aquifer. It formed millions of years ago. It's 174,000 square miles. That equals like 85 million football fields. It's actually under eight different states. It's 50 feet to 300 feet below the surface of the earth. And it varies in thickness from a few feet to almost a thousand feet. It averages somewhere around 200 feet thick. Well, how does that water get there? Well, it's called recharging. And one of the ways that it gets there is when it rains, obviously some water soaks into the ground. And in a few days, maybe a few weeks, some cases months, some cases years, that water works its way down through the soil. We use the term infiltration and percolation, but it works its way down through the soil that 50 to 300 feet and down to the Ogallala. In the 1940s and 50s, we started pumping water out of the Ogallala and it changed the lives of the people who lived there. We started using it for bath water to, in factories. We used it to water our crops. See, we use it today to water almost one-fourth of all the corn that is grown in Kansas. And the water from the Ogallala is not just for watering crops. We use it to provide water for animals, and that allows us to provide meat and milk. And not just for the people in western Kansas. The food they grow out there, it gets sent all over the country and all over the world. In fact, the farmers practice water conservation. They use things like irrigation technology, and there are scientific advancements, so they can use that water more wisely. Can you think of some things that you can do to conserve water?